Hi everybody, welcome to game day here in week 11 and a rematch with the Ottawa Red Blacks. This will be the final game before a long bye week for the Calgary Stampeders who would love nothing more than to head into that break on a winning note. The visitors are coming off a tie with the Riders, the first game to end in such fashion in the CFL since June of 2017 when Ottawa and Calgary played to a tie. Ottawa is second in the East while the Stamps are third in the West. Calgary has a perfect record at home and are aiming to exact some revenge on the Red Blacks who beat them handily in week eight. Uh, tough, you know, it does seem like a while back. Um, didn't have our best performance in Toronto as well. We're an up and down team. We're just trying to find consistency and we're trying to, you know, uh, make it a little easier on ourselves. You know, it seems like we're the ones making uh, potential uh, mistakes. Uh, let's play with confidence, let's show up with a, a great mindset, a great attitude, and attack it, attack it, and uh, kind of let things fall where they may. Jeremiah Masoli will start for Ottawa. Hampered by injuries, he started just one game last year and played in just four the year before that. He dressed the last two games this season but has yet to see the field. Jake Mayer gets the nod for the home side. He threw for one touchdown, one interception, and 373 yards last game, which put him over the 10,000 mark for his career. I, I mean, I think Demario said it best right now when he broke us down. Earn your bye week, and I think there's a, uh, I think there's a mentality there. Um, yes, you want to win. We've played very good football at home. We want to keep that going, um, but we need to play well uh, because, yeah, we do have a almost an off season here as uh, as this game ends, which is uh, which is good and bad. But yeah, you want to be able to earn your downtime. You want to be able to put yourself in a situation going into a bye week where you have momentum. Um, where you can maybe gain some ground on the rest of the teams in the Western Conference. Um, and all that, all those things are, are definitely right there in front of us. And again, I love that we get to do that at home. Our player to watch is coming off a strong game in Toronto and could reach 5,000 career receiving yards tonight. Reggie Bagleton is 78 yards from the milestone after making eight catches for 104 yards last week. He now has a reception in 61 consecutive games to move ahead of Herm Harrison for sixth best in Stamps history. I really don't don't keep up with it. I just try to, you know, stay consistent each week. Uh, but I mean, truly, is a blessing uh, that I'm hitting milestones like that. Uh, it, I guess it attests to uh, just my professionalism and what I do in the off season. Just a little bit of luck to stay healthy this long. I want to go back to that game against Toronto when you dragged like three or four defenders to the uh, one yard line. When you pick up yards like that after the catch, do you take kind of an extra pride in that, like showing that grit to, to move the ball that much further? I do because uh, you don't know how many how many targets you're going to get a game. So I take every one as if it's going to be my last one. But at the same time, you have to have that mindset that the ball is the most important thing. So don't, it, it's a fine line of doing too much, but it's also having the, uh, the conscious the, the of uh, protecting that ball at the same time. And just a thought about uh, playing Ottawa this rematch after you guys, I mean, didn't have your best effort against them last time. Uh, it, it, it's going to show character uh, for this team, what we're going to come out here and do. Uh, we, we know what we have to do. We just have to show up. Uh, and, and honestly, that's just everybody, everybody taking it personal and, and, and showing that, you know, we are a great team. Eight changes to the lineup for the team this week. Kylan Hill will make his CFL debut behind Peyton Logan, giving Dave Dickinson a second option at running back. Josh Coker is back. He will start at the right tackle position. Center Sean McEwen hurt his hand and is on the one game injured list. He'll be replaced by Rodine Brown. And linebacker Adam Konar will be missed, especially on special teams. He is out with a hamstring injury. Kickoff for this one goes at 7 p.m.